Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're we'll comparing a 2022 Ram 1500 Laramie to a 1500 Bighorn. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get right into the comparison. Now let's pop under the hoods of both of the trucks. Starting over here with the Bighorn, we have a Natchi aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. Now popping over to the Laramie, we also have a Natchi aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8, also paired to an eight speed automatic transmission, but this one has the e-torque system. So it's good for 18 around town and then 22 on the highway with power putts being 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. So let's go over the front ends of both the trucks, starting over here with the Bighorn. You guys will notice we have the Hemi 5.7 liter badge right there. And then we have the halogen bulbs here on the front end. Notice all of the chrome right there, but then it's darker here on this portion of the grill. And then we've got the fog lights just down below. No tow hooks or anything like that. No parking sensors either. Popping over to the Laramie, notice that same badge, except it says e-torque, right? And then you've got the LED lights here. They are LED reflector lights with the accent lights. And then there's parking sensors along the bottom. And then notice there's a lot more chrome action. And then we do have tow hooks here at the bottom. And so yeah, parking sensors plus tow hooks plus LED lights, pretty nice. But anyways, there's the front ends. Now coming around the side here, we actually have an identical tire and wheel setup. We've got two 75 millimeter tires with 18 inch wheels on both of them. But you guys can see there's a little bit of a different design scheme going on here. So you can see we've got the five spoke on the Bighorn. And then there's a quick look at the suspension. No fender flares here on the Bighorn, but we do have the Ram logo on both of them. And then you guys can see here with the Laramie, it's a six spoke, so it looks a little bit nicer. And then the suspension, and then again, we've got the fender flare right there. And then the Laramie does have wheel to wheel side steps. And then notice with the mirrors, you got chrome versus no chrome there on the Bighorn. And also the door handles, you've got the chrome insert. Whereas on the Bighorn, there is no chrome insert. So there is that difference. Um, but yeah, the fender flares, I think, make the biggest difference here on the sides of both of the trucks in terms of the aesthetics. So here are the key fobs, but let's talk about payload capacities for a second. 1469 on the Laramie, and then 1735 over on the Bighorn. And then also notice with the Laramie key, we can drop down the tailgate ourselves, pretty nice. And speaking of that tailgate being dropped down, now we're gonna set the keys on the tailgate because, well, we've gotta go use our uh, hand over here on the Bighorn. It is still dampened, though, so that's nice. And if you guys are wondering, towing capacity is about the same between both the trucks. Payload capacity is what is different. Other than that, there's nothing else exciting going on the beds. Like, they're both the same setup. They don't have the bed utility group in either of them. So, yeah, the setups are pretty much identical. And uh, the tailgates are also the same weight. So, like, lifting them up just as easy. Not going to go do that to the Laramie tailgate because i got to pick up the keys first. Now, let's finish things up here with the rears of both the trucks. Now, starting over here with the Bighorn. Notice we have the base lights here in the back. Still get a chrome bumper. Still have the chrome exhaust tips. And then the receiver hitch. Do have the Bighorn logo. Over on the Laramie, LED lights, and then we've got Laramie logo, all that fun stuff. We do have parking sensors here on the bottom, but again, remember we've got chrome exhaust tips. So a lot of similarities, but a few differences. And yeah, that's everything for the back. Now let's go over the door panels here in the rear. So you guys will notice that we've got the leather and the stitching at the top, and then just down below in the Laramie, got the suede, got the wood trim as well. This comes with the Alpine sound system, nine speakers and a subwoofer. And then you guys can see we've got the ice bucket just down below, bunch of rubber floor mats. Notice we've got the USBs there with the power outlet cup holders and more wood trim. And then got the leather seats, which finally will kind of pop up on camera. The sunlight is horrible today. But you guys can see those seats look really nice. They're comfortable as well. And then this one also has the recline function on the seats. But anyways, let's close that one up. Now popping over here to the Bighorn, notice that the door panel isn't as nice material-wise. Still get the nice padding on this portion though. But yeah, cloth trim versus the leather. Then we have cloth seats here on the Bighorn. You can see that difference. And these ones don't have the recline function. Still get the ice buckets, still get the rubber floor mats. No charging ports here in the back though. So a little bit more base, but anyways, so yeah. Now here's the door panel at the front of the Laramie. So again, you've got the padding here at the top and then you've got the wood trim and then the suede and then more leather. And then you've got all of the window controls here with the memory seat function. 
And then there's the trilomeres that do fold in, power, power fold in rather. Of course they fold in. Anyways, there's this front seats, got the Laramie logo, and then you guys can see all the suede, all that fun stuff. And then you can see the power adjustments down below with the Ram logo. And let's pop in, start her up. Boom, Laramie, 12 inch display, pretty nice. So here is the steering wheel. You've got cruise control, gear limiter. We've got controls for center stack, voice command controls. You've got radio controls on the back, turn signal, windshield wiper stock. And you guys can hear, see here in the center, we've got that big screen, which looks really nice. Shows you different bits of information on the truck, analog gauges on either side. Um, but yeah, definitely all fits together and has this nice premium appearance to it. And then we've got the new 12 inch display, which if we pop the truck into reverse, you guys can see a backup camera is gonna pop up. Pretty nice stuff. And yeah, the tra tra trajectory lines rather do turn with the steering wheel as well. It's part of that system. But anyways, here's the new 12 inch display. You guys can see response time is great. You've got all these shortcut buttons here at the bottom so I can go over to the vehicle tab, for example. So if I wanted to see, you know, the camera and then i've got the climate tab which this does have heated cooled seats which will throw those cooled seats on i know it's only 50 feet, 55 degrees outside but i always run hot for some reason anyways notice we've got analog controls for the climate controls on the other side you've got the radio controls we've got our parking sensors here tow haul mode stability control trailer brake controls got the old dial shifter got your two-wheel drive your four-wheel auto four-wheel high and then four-wheel low with the true neutral and then we've got our auto stop start right there got some usbs down here and then you guys can see here the center console notice that we've got leather there at the top with some suede decent amount of storage space well lots of storage space actually full power outlet right there notice it says laramie and then you guys can see the dual glove box got nice padding here on the dash all that fun stuff and then finishing things here at, with the top we do have a power sliding window and then there's no center for anything like that in this particular one but this does have the uh, tailgate drop down from the interior You've got the universal garage door openers, and then this one just has the traditional mirror. So here's the door panel at the front of the Bighorn. So same as what you have in the rear with all the cloth, but you still get some nice padding. This again has a trailer mirrors, but they don't power fold in. As you can see, no memory seat function either. And then again, cloth seats here for the front. They are power adjustable, just like the Laramie. And let's pop in, start her up. Doo doo doo. Ooh, pretty cool stuff happening here. Everything's the same on the steering wheel. There is no difference between the trucks. And then here for the center gauge cluster, you can see that screen is a lot smaller in the big horn. And then you guys can see this one doesn't have the 12 inch display. It's got the eight inch display, well, 8.4 inch, whatever. Still functions relatively similar compared to the 12 inch, just doesn't look as nice and pretty. Um, and obviously it doesn't have some of the nice stuff that you get with the 12 inch display option wise but i mean at least it gets the job done but yeah that's another difference is the infotainment systems and then we have analog climate controls just down below single zone climate whereas laramie had the dual zone and then you guys can see no parking sensors so we just have the tow haul stability trailer brakes still have the same drive line select as what you have in the laramie have some charging ports down here um, but there's no outlet or anything like that and then with the bighorn we've got the extra storage because this has the bench seat so yeah you can see that and that pops up and there's some extra storage you can see the dash is not nearly as nice do not have the alpine sound system so we don't have a subwoofer sad day notice that you've got dual glove box still says bighorn on it and all that fun stuff and then here at the top we still get a power sliding window uh, no center, but notice the headliner is actually black in this one, whereas in Laramie it's uh, light colored. Universal garage door opener, still have a traditional mirror, and yeah. Now let's finish things up by going over the pricing with both of the trucks. So the Laramie stickers were at $62,000, and the Bighorn stickers for about $52,000. So yes, there is a $10,000 price difference between both of the trucks. Obviously, we do have to pick a winner for today's video like normal. $10,000 is a lot of money and you're getting a lower payload capacity with that extra $10,000 because Laramie has more goodies, so it takes up some of the payload. But again, running boards, fender flares, LED lights, and then the 12-inch display with a nicer interior, heated, cooled seats, dual zone climate. There's a lot of stuff that comes with the Laramie package, but is it really $10,000? It just depends on what you're looking for, right? If those luxury features are important to you, then yeah, it's worth the extra 10 grand. But if they're not, then the Bighorn's gonna make more sense. It's gonna be more budget friendly. And with that $10,000, I mean, this truck could have off-road tires, a lift, it could have some cool wheels. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with $10,000.
And you could have bolt-on fender flares versus the little tiny Laramie fender flares you guys can see there. So again, just depends on what you're looking for. So I guess I'll leave this one to be a tie. Hmm. Now let's get some things up for our video comparing a 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn to a 1500 Laramie. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.